You know, running a channel like this can take its toll on the body, which is why mine dissolved a while ago. But that doesn't mean I don't have to stay in shape. I've long been searching for a way to bring my love of feminism and my love of exercise together. And luckily for me, nice people are nice have made the perfect video for you to want to both get up and go, but also slit your wrists and the wrists of all those around you. So dig out your tracksuit and dust off your sweatbands. We're getting in shape. Are you tired of gross old men telling you what you can and cannot do with your body? Oh, so it would be fine if it were gross old women doing it then, would it? You know, this argument is really starting to piss me off. Take whatever side you want on the whole abortion thing, I really don't give a shit. But when you go on about the fucking gender of the people who make that legislation, that really isn't anything to do with the issue, so you can shut the fuck up. You're just being ridiculous, am I right? Yeah, this girl gets it. The face you make when you realise you've joined a cult. Or that dumbass on Twitter who keeps calling you a hypocrite because you don't support men's rights too? You lot perpetuate the myth that feminism is about equality for all, yet you only support equality for one group of people. Or actually, every group of people except for men. You even say Black Lives Matter is a feminist issue, and yet you just stated you don't support men's rights too. But yeah, the guy on Twitter's a dumbass. Fucking hell. Then have we got the workout for you. Oh, fucking hell. What have I done? I don't think I can handle this amount of cheese. Yes, you. I'm pointing at you in the screen right there. I feel like I'm watching an infomercial just for people with learning difficulties. Mental disability, also a feminist issue. Come on, join us. Don't worry. Don't worry? Look at the size of you. I'm worried your workout is going to start a tsunami in the Indian Ocean. Yeah, you like that one, did you? <laughs> We're not some weird workout wombats or anything. We just want to challenge your mind and body to become stronger and more confident. Oh, fuck. Challenge my mind. By all means. I'll go quietly. But I do not trust what you do to my body. Look what you did to yours. Is that what being confident is? Like someone poured a jar of mayonnaise into a plastic bag? This is your body on feminism. Nah, man. Not even once. So you can face those men as dickheads and... Smashing my fucking eardrums right now. So what have we got? Nine people, ten, really, because the big girl's worth two. Eleven if you count whoever's operating the camera, and there's obviously no one working on sound. I mean, when I point out your sound quality, you know you done gone fucked up. Before we begin our workout, grab your workout clothes. Workout clothes is a bit of a broad term, judging by the examples behind you. It looks like one of them is about to mug the other, and I can't tell for the life of me which one is which. And by workout clothes, we mean whatever you're comfortable wearing. Well, I'm not going anywhere near you cunts without a full fucking hazmat suit and a litre of holy water. Every workout starts with a body positive warm up. Oh, I got this. I got this. Get on that weight bench, you fat fucking fuck. You're going to lift that bitch until your heart explodes. And then we're going to need a crane to lift you out of here, you fucking planet. I love my butt. It's a nice butt. That wasn't body positivity. That was fucking perverse. Fucking hell, man. Who needs to get some trim so badly that they'll subject themselves to this? I feel bad for the guy. Well, no, I don't. Not at all, really. I love my calves. They're strong calves. Well, I'm happy for you. Once they've matured, I'm sure they'll fetch a decent price at the meat market. I love my arms. They help me get hugs. And they stop your victim from escaping. I get it. After we've warmed up, our trainers will take you through a series of strength training exercises. Like equal wage curls, which tone your biceps so you can raise your fists high so you can protest the man. Or to build up the strength in your arms so you can take on a job in heavy lifting, maintenance, or construction. Equal work for equal pay, right? Or so you can cover your ears to block out the fact that the wage gap is a fucking myth that has been debunked more times than you claim to have been sexually harassed. <laughs> Pay for equal work? Bullshit! Equal pay for equal work! No idea what he just said then, but I like the fact that she has a bigger weight than him. You see, she's benefiting more than him, even though they're doing the same thing. Nice! They obviously didn't mean to do that, but nice! Fraction of pay for equal work? Bullshit! Equal pay for equal work! You could have spent the time it took to make that skit on actually researching the mythical wage gap, but whatever! No one cares about the facts, do they? Complimentary crunches give you a confidence boost while boosting someone else's. You're super kind. That's a fucking shit compliment when you're working out. You want to be like that ass, girl? Bam! Fucking super kind. You might as well have said your soul is weak. Great. You're an 
exceptional problem solver. Thank you. Yeah, if the problem is there's too much fucking cake, stop talking and get crunching, biggin. Patriarchy palm strikes allow you to challenge the patriarchy while releasing some positive energy. Yet another cuck. The only energy he wants to release is over that girl's face. How desperate do you have to be? Can you be the next manager of your local Starbucks? Yes, we can! Well, I would have aimed a little bit higher than Starbucks, but it's your workout. Take what you want from it. Can you be a CEO? Yes, we can! Can you be president? Yes, yes we can! America does have a history of electing some fucking idiotic leaders, so yeah, you're a shoe in Go for it! Sexy squats empower you to let others know what you want while working out your sexy thighs. In the bedroom. Yes, yes means yes. yes! Let's have sex! If that strobing monstrosity in the middle has ever made any claims of carnal relations without her consent, I call bullshit. I think her fucking hot pants have a better chance of being taken seriously. Notice how they get smaller with every squat. They're being eaten. And here are some things to remember. Wait means no, hesitation means no, and silence means no. Wait means wait, hesitation means wait, and silence means wait. Or you've just said the wrong name. No means no, and so does who are you, what are you doing in my house? In the boardroom. Speak up for yourself. Excuse me, Roger, can you please give me credit for my idea, thanks? Yeah, because nothing's more enjoyable in a meeting than someone asking for credit every time they open their fucking mouth. Maybe your idea was shit, Angela, did you consider that? And how the fuck did you get into the boardroom with an attitude like that anyway? And finally, bye 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 planks prepare you to brush off dumbass comments and questions. Are you gonna eat all that? Jealous? Well, you didn't answer the fucking question. What if he's inquiring because he would like to eat some if you're gonna waste it? But of course, food portions is a feminist issue. I can't believe you're still single. I'm like a snitch. Everyone wants me, but no one can keep up. Or once someone inevitably claims you, it's game over. Not very empowering, is it? But as we know, Quidditch is also a feminist issue. You can do better than that. Man up. I'm too busy womaning up. Bye, bye, bye. Oh yeah, womaning up, you definitely are. And by that, I mean complaining about absolute non-issues such as the use of certain words while ignoring greater problems because they don't affect you and your cushy little life directly. Oh yeah, you are so womaning up. To help you recover, we end our workout with some self-care stretches. What do you do when a sleazy person calls you a slut after turning them down? Carry on living? I go home and paint portraits of puppies. Everything that comes out of this guy's mouth, everything, no matter how benign, sounds fucking filthy. Is it a gift or a curse? I don't know, but I'm intimidated right now. And what do you do when a troll threatens you? I call the police, then chill out with some wine while uh, trying to remember all the thriller choreography. You call the police when a troll threatens you? What the fuck are they gonna do about a teenage boy using the internet in fucking Poland? Phone the fucking police. And are we not gonna do anything about the girl spazzing out behind you? Someone call an ambulance for fuck's sake. And what do you do when old guys threaten to defund Planned Parenthood? I'll contact my representative, donate to my local Planned Parenthood, and then put on some Beyonce and do this fucking workout. Fucking Beyonce is ruining my life, man. It all leads back to her, I'm telling you. The head of the snake. Anyway, fuck your Planned Parenthood. It's a privilege, not a right. You don't know how much of a luxury it is to be able to kill babies. Wait, what? <laughs> They said smash the patriarchy then. I don't know if you heard that because I really had to fuck with the sound to make this a little less unbearable than it already was. None of the advice they gave was practical in smashing the patriarchy, of course. But it was either that or get a real job, I guess. Oh, and now we get the credits. Or rather, a list of people who should seriously reevaluate their lifestyle. I did check and there's actually no one on sound, but I was astounded to learn there was actually a script. They didn't just pump them all with sodium pentothal and ask them what's the most annoying thing they've ever heard. It would have been nice to see the credits roll as the building burns down around them and they struggle to get the fire door open. Where's your equal wage curls now, motherfucker? Actually, do you know what I really liked about this video? Fuck all. Thanks for watching, guys. Please consider becoming a patron as YouTube's currently got its dick in my ass and refuses to stop screwing. The link is in the description. And remember, in a woman's only gym, medicine balls are called medicine ovaries.